Katie mentioned the fact that the pool, that means the, the number of candidates who satisfy the criteria is small related to the PhD degree and the ability to sign both. But that pool is growing. More and more, around about five years ago, when RIT raised its standards for faculty hires and they said, you have to have a PhD or an EDD, a doctoral degree. You have to have that if you're going to come here on tenure track. And people at NTID said, well, well, deaf people don't have the PhD. There's not many out there that already have the PhD degree. Maybe that was true 10, 15, 5 years ago even. 
but it's not so much true anymore. More and more deaf people are getting that degree and becoming fully qualified to come on tenure track at RIT, especially in areas like English and math. Not so much in the technical areas. They still have a problem hiring tenure track faculty with a PhD who are either deaf or can't sign. But English and math, it's becoming, each year, it becomes a little bit easier to find the people that we really want to bring in. And that's the kind of change that we're always facing. That's a good change for us.